All right, I'm working on replacing the uh, master cylinder on my uh, Land Rover Discovery. The uh, master cylinder's leaking. It's leaking fluid all out of the, uh, the seals here. So I'm gonna replace it. You can start by uh, removing the cap and uh, loosening up all the bolts on the uh, master cylinder. They're gonna be a 13 millimeter. Gonna break everything loose right now. Make sure it's not all tight. And then uh, grab a 13 millimeter and we can loosen up uh, these fittings here. Should be using a brake flange uh, wrench, but a uh, open end wrench will do today. Got one loosened up. Got the other loosened up. Okay, this little pin's got a little clip underneath. I'm gonna use a screwdriver to kind of pry it. There we go. So this little pin slides out here. And this is going to take off our whole reservoir. So there's gonna be a lot of fluid that comes out of here. So get a rag under there catch as much as possible and not so bad so now we got this off now we can see the master that's right here where the uh, right here's where it's leaking out of these o-rings so I'm just going to pull a whole new one in here I don't want to deal with it so let's go ahead and loosen these up. I already cracked them, so they should be pretty loose. So, to give you a better angle here, I'm uh, loosening up the bolts here for the uh, main lines for the front and rear. This is a dual master, so it does have front and rear. And you can see here where all the uh, where all the uh, fluid was leaking, taking the paint off everything. Two down, and this just should slide right on out. So here's the old one. Gonna want to make sure we clean out this so we don't get any uh, brake fluid or anything in there because not be good for all the seals. A little bit of brake cleaner will help. Here's the new one. Put a little bit of fluid in here before I put it in and uh, I'm just going to push the primer a little bit just to pump some fluid through there. Could bench bleed it but uh, I got a power bleeder so I'm not too worried about bleeding it. That'll do. I'm going to go do this over here. Alright, so I'm going to do this quick. Got the lines in without too much leaking everywhere.
All right, I got the lines kind of tight. I'm gonna try and clean up some of this glue on there and get the uh, nuts on the sides. There we go. Fully bolted in, ready to go. So now we just gotta fill it up with fluid. and do some bleeding.